my name is Steve Baggs and in this video I'm going to show you some advanced figure 8 variations. So first of all I'll just show you what I mean by figure 8. I mean this trick here where you're doing a circle on one side of your body and a circle on the other. And it's called a figure 8 because you're making uh, uh, the shape of an 8 on its side in the air. So it's sort of folded, so it's more like this. But that's where we get the name figure 8. So I'll just show you some variations of that. First of all we can do them with all different sorts of grips. So I'll show you some different grips. First of all, this is the, the basic grip. I call this the, the happy spider grip, because it looks a bit like a spider. My fingers are pointing down, and I grab the top of the hoop like this. Next grip we can use is what I call the dead spider grip. So the fingers are pointing outwards, and I grab underneath the hoop like this. Now if you don't like the idea of it being a dead spider, that's fine. You can think of it as just having a bit of a rest, or you can think of it as dead tired. But do remember, the hula hoop represents the circle of life. So, we've got happy spider grip, dead spider grip. We've also got penguin grip. Now for the penguin grip, I reach through the hoop and turn my hand the other way up, like this. And it looks a bit like a penguin. Then, we've got the cradle grip. So for the cradle grip, you reach your hand into the hoop hands pointing upwards, point your fingers uh, to one side, away from you, and grab the hoop like this. So this is a cradle grip. And then the final grip that I use, I reach over the hoop, come back in, and then grab the top of the hoop like that. And I call this one a chicken one, chicken grip, because it makes you feel like a chicken. So just to recap, happy spider grip, like this, dead spider grip, that penguin grip, chicken grip, cradle grip, and uh, the difference differences between how those grips look will become a bit clearer when I start showing the various different figure eights. So that's five different grips. There's also two main directions: you've got a forwards figure eight and a backwards figure eight. So using those five grips and two directions, you get ten different figure eights. So I'll just go through those figure eights quickly. So, so as I just showed you, you've got the, the happy spider grip, you've got this forwards one, and then backwards. And a lot of people think of those as like the standard figure eights. And then from the, the dead spider grip here, we've got a forwards figure eight, and you see, because of, of where my grip is, this sort of makes my arm want to go up over my shoulder. So it changes the position of my body, which is what's interesting about all these different grips. It's how, how they move your body. So yeah, this one comes up over my shoulder, and then a backwards figure eight. And again, obviously because it's in reverse, I'm still going to come up over my shoulder. And then we've got the penguin grip here. So forwards penguin figure eight, just like that. And reverse penguin figure eight. These are starting to get slightly more awkward now. But again, this one, instead of bringing me up this time, this grip uh, makes me want to move my arm down to sort of slightly below waist height, more like a, a thigh high figure eight. Like so that. And then we've got the cradle one. So this is a forwards cradle. And this one's making me want to move my arm up over my shoulder to make it feel comfortable. And these, these ones, they do feel comfortable after a while. You do have to slowly increase the flexibility of your wrist to make them more possible. So this is uh, the backwards cradle figure eight. And then we've got the, the chicken. So I reach over the hoop, back under and I get to here. And these ones are quite awkward. First of all, forwards figure eight. It's quite difficult to get it clean without sort of folding the hoop. And um, backwards figure eight. And this one's, I reckon, probably the hardest. I have to move my body quite a lot to try and get the planes right, and I still, it's not very clean. That. Now these, these tricks might seem very awkward, but actually uh, the awkwardness makes you move your body in different ways, so it can be quite useful to, to be forced to move your body in a different way, because then it makes you do different things with the hoop, you find different entries to tricks like jumps and rolls, and yeah, it, it can help you come up with new material. So next I'll show you, I'll show you how you can uh, do these 
do some figure eights by twisting the hoop. So I call these where you, you twist the hoop in the air. I call this a zircle, this isn't a figure eight. But this is an example of a Z spin where I'm twisting the hoop in the air. If I apply that to a figure eight, I can do a trick like this. So I'm doing a complete twist of the hoop while doing a circle on both sides. That's one full twist of the hoop. You can also link these uh, various groups together. So obviously I could uh, just like I could do like an index finger roll to get from a uh, this is a, a happy spider grip. If I wanted to go into a dead spider grip, I could come around like that, and then I'd be in this figure eight. Also, some of the figure eights link together by doing extra circles in front or behind you. You can wind up your arm and end up in, in one of the other ones. So, for example, if I'm doing a, a dead spider figure eight, like this, if I do an extra circle behind me, like that, then I come through into the penguin grip. So, because I'm linking, because I've got this extra twist in there, I could do two circles on both sides and do a double figure eight. So I'm, I'm, not, doing, I'm not doing any grip change with my fingers, I'm not taking my fingers off the hoop at all, I'm just wrapping up my arm to get this extra, extra circles. So, combining the, the penguin grip and the dead spider grip to get this, this double A, which takes a while to, to build up the flexibility on your wrist and your arm, but once you get it, it does feel very comfortable, it feels very nice to do. Other ones you can link together. You can link together the, the cradle, the happy spider, and the chicken one. So for example, if I'm in this happy spider grip, and I do a circle in front of me, I end up in this cradle grip. So you can link all three of them together and do three circles in front of you and three circles behind. So that looks like this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that's a triple eight. So this is me doing it entirely in the vertical plane. A very similar variation is to flop it round and do it more, well, kind of, I'm twisting it more horizontally. So I'm doing basically the same thing, I've just sort of twisted around the plane a bit. So then you can also, you can spin the figure eights uh, around different parts of your body. So I could spin it under my leg, here, I could spin it under my leg and behind me like that, I could spin it behind me like this, or you can do sort of like contortion ones, where you can all the way around your body again. There's very di various different options where you can spin them around different parts of your body and you can isolate them. So, let's go back to the basic happy spider grip, doing a circle on either side. I could try, isol I can't do this very neatly, I don't practice it, but you could isolate the whole hoop like this, the whole movement. Like that, it'd still be a figure eight, the whole thing would be isolated. Or you could do big circle at the front and then isolate it when it comes behind and isolate it for part of the movement behind. So all these different, uh, yeah they can seem quite, quite awkward to start with and uh, quite, quite uncomfortable and painful until you build up that, that wrist flexibility. But because they make you move your body differently they, they can create quite interesting patterns. So for example if I do something like this Make this one here, maybe come pull it here, find a different way to come onto my body, and that might help me find a different way to come off, something like that. So, yeah, in that respect, they can help you come up with some interesting new movements. So, I think they're well worth exploring. And then, particularly when you get into doing devil's hoop, they open up a whole range of new tricks that you can't do if you're just doing the standard grip. So, yeah, there's lots to explore in these advanced figure eights. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's inspired you to try some other weird figure eights. Thank you.